Hello, welcome back to Dumb Thumbs FPV. So today is an exciting video because I've been waiting for this module to show up for a little over a month now. This is the Owl RX Diversity Module by Owl RC. For those of us who are in the know, we are able to sign up on Owl RC's Facebook page, and I think I was like number 40th or 41st or something like that. So I was I, I got signed up early on. The reason I was excited about this module was because Josh Bardwell's video on a shootout between it had this in it along with the uh, real ACs or it, no actually it was a um, the Achilles one of them had Achilles on it and the LaForge and of course the True D and the Rapid Fire and this one held its own against the Rapid Fire. In fact, it actually did pretty damn good when it came to the inside of the building. So I was like, okay, well hopefully this doesn't have compatibility issues like the Rapid Fire. And hopefully it works better with the Fat Shark DVRs. And hopefully I don't have to do a power mod on my goggles. Now, I guess the new Fat Shark goggles, you might have to do a power mod. So I was very excited about this module. I, I, I want something that has the typical features that we would expect in a module. A, a scanner. A scanner that actually just scans and it picks up the strongest channel and tunes into that channel. Um, I wanted to have drone finder. Drone finder is nice if you have a 2.5 inch or 3 inch or a, or a whoop or something. It's something that doesn't have a beeper on it. You get lost in tall grass. The drone finder actually works really good. So there's just you know certain features that I was kind of looking for and the rapid fire just didn't have it. Rapid fire is pretty featureless. This retails for 80 bucks so it's it, well a little bit more than half of what uh, the rapid fire module is. They both have this, the same kind of technology, you know, the, the pulse syncs. And this one just fires a little bit faster. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, so here's what it looks like in the goggles. It comes with a 3D printed door. Um, and it's not bad shape. It's not bad at all. It's, it's pretty good. Um, you could probably sand it up a little bit. And you can definitely paint it. So whatever color you want to paint it. I do suggest that Owl RC maybe put some holes in this to because it does get very warm in the goggles it needs to probably have a little bit more air than it currently does um it's just very simple buttons you got three buttons that's all you have so you don't have to worry about you know the little the little joggle here that can actually fall off mine actually come sometimes falls off here and you don't have to worry about that going up and down where it's so sensitive you have three simple buttons here however i will tell you um they need to change the timing in their firmware on how when you select stuff so what i mean by that is let's see here so if we want to get into let's say channel okay i'm on e3 now watch this so if i just push you know for a second it doesn't do anything and that's how people typically push buttons just like that with this one here you got to be very lightning quick so you got to go like very very quick it's fine when you're looking at the screen here, but this has a built-in OSD. In fact, the built-in OSD is just as clear as the one on your television at home. And so when you're looking through your goggles, instead of taking them off and doing this way, you look through your goggles, it's kind of hard to push it really quick with your fingers, you know, uh, without using your fingernails. So I'm hoping they change the timing on that in the firmware, you know, where it's just your typical push should automatically go up right now and it's not so you have to be really fast with it so you have that and if you want to change um, so that's how you change the channel so if you want to change the um, band you just hold it down for a little bit longer and that feature works good so there's a b e and the channel so there that's how you do that it's very very simple um, you, to go back to the menu, just hit a couple, you know, just for a couple little bit there, and then you go to frequency, and frequency, okay, this is, this is what I mean, it's kind of cumbersome, I don't know why. Oh, there we go, you have to hit it really quick, that's what it is. So on the frequency, you can just go up and down the frequency chain. So you just push the button and it'll just take you on up and down the frequencies just like that. Very, very simple. Okay. Um, let's go back to menu. Okay. And then you also have a favorites. 
okay and how you're supposed to do the favor I haven't been able to make it work but I'm on a channel and I should be able to hit this middle button for just a couple of seconds and then save it as a favorite it doesn't seem to work I don't know why okay real quick there so you see it says empty let's go real quick here yeah they just need to change the the timing on these buttons okay you have a band scan on here but the band scan does not work like you would expect um, it what it does is it shows you the strongest channel so here let me show you let me plug in my quadcopter okay and then we're gonna click on this and you can see right away it came up to E and then one two three the third channel is the strongest that's it it doesn't tune in to that it just shows you the strongest one that's all it does so I thought that was kind of eh. so you got to get out of this so you press the button okay there we go there's your finder so if I want to fast click there we go if I want to do a finder on it like I said patch antenna on here go back and forth measuring the RSSI on it until you get to your drone um, so let's get out of this Oh boy, I gotta hold it down. Okay, that's right. Go this way. Okay, settings quick, very fast. Okay, so you can turn your diversity on and off. Insane, I don't know what the hell that is. I guess just how fast it's firing. Uh, maybe if I turned it off, it wouldn't be so warm. Your OSD menu, which is inside there, and your OSD RSSI, which is inside the goggles as you're flying. And they have little check boxes here, but so you, you just check it off with the middle button here is how it works and that's it guys that's all you got with this thing so let's go down exit I just kinda wanna show a little bit um, what people are expecting in these modules as far as features okay um, you can see here I mean this this has a very nice screen it's giving me I got a low signal right now I'm on E3. Let me plug in my quadcopter here, though. See how it's picking it up right now? So here, here's the thing. I mean, if I want to scan, okay, I can just scan. That's it. And it's just going to sit there and scan it and pick up the best one. That's the way it works. I mean, it's super, super simple. You know, fast is nice so you can just go up and down the channels really quickly fast this is Achilles by the way I mean this guy's brilliant when it comes to this stuff and I don't quite understand why the other modules see so, you know, I got a scanner this just works just like the the rapid-fire scanner you know I mean this is really really nice this is the 5808 Pro Plus so these are just, you know, okay, so event viewer. So what this is going to do is going to pick up on event the strongest channels. And what I can do with that now is it's going to tune into what it picked up to be the strongest bands we have here. Okay. So there's my quad right there on E3. So that's really nice. I mean, this is honestly... And then you got your manual. You can just do it manual if you want to. I love this features. I, I absolutely love what this guy done. And then you got your fine model right here. You know. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah, see, I went to go down and now it goes up. See, it's dropped down. I don't know if you can see it or not. It kind of dropped down and it goes up. If I had my patch on here, it would work a lot better, of course. But I don't know why other manufacturers can't figure out how to do a decent um, firmware on features. So that's the features this one has, and I love it. I mean, honestly, I do. Let's see, and the favorites are easy too. So there's your favorites. So I already have my one favorite there. There's my other quad. There's another quad of mine. So, I mean, there's quite a few different ones you can get. There's three different ones you can put in here. I love that. So I just wanted to show that off a little bit because, you know, honestly, the OWL, 
All I will see, you really need to update your firmware a little bit. Change the timing on your buttons so that it's a typical press. And also maybe on your scanner, I don't know if you can pull it off, but make your scanner so it just automatically scans and tunes into channels, okay? So I just wanted to add that in. So what I'm going to do on this is I'm going to, um, I'm going to do a shootout video coming up this weekend between this and the rapid fire I'm gonna bring five of my quads out I know two of them do have problems with the rapid fire as far as compatibility and I want to see if does this thing have any compatibility issues whatsoever with those same quadcopters and then I want to measure the performance you know me flying through the park through trees so on and so forth I'm gonna show you the in-flight DVR for footage I know rapid fire does not like the fat shark DVR but you know what else do I have you know what I'm saying um, it does it does seem to like it at times and then other times not so much I think if if the quadcopter is not 1000% compatible then it seems to have a problem with the with the DVR but the ones that I'm having problems with with the rapid fire I want to see if it works with this if it works with this and this does for me just as good as the rapid fire in the parks and also I'm gonna do a long distance see how far each module can go um, and I'm going to have some obstacles between that to see how well it does. Um, I'm also going to do an in-flight testing on this um, where I'm going to take it up to my shop and use the UR65, which is a really popular little um, mic, you know, little whoop. Uh, they're, they're selling like hotcakes right now. You have a country version, which is the U.S. For the United States, it would be the US65. Uh, it's painted in American flag colors. It's, it's very, well, it's, it's actually dipped in American flag colors. It's very popular. Well, for some reason, my rapid fire does not like the UR65. I don't know why. Other guys are saying I have a UR65 and it works great. So once again, it's one of those inconsistent problems with the rapid fire. So I want to see how the rapid fire does with it up at the shop, and I want to see how well this does with it out up at the shop. I might bring up one of my other smaller three inches and take a chance of flying around the shop with that. Um, and see how well it does indoors just so because I, I know I have one quadcopter three inch that is compatible with the rapid fire so we'll see how that one does indoors as well and that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just show you guys the pros and cons of each one of them okay so that's the video for today guys just to show you the features what this is all about um, and join me on my second video when I do my shootout video thank you and have a great night